And we're in part 40. Very mysterious music playing by Epic Music Productions. But anyways, welcome guys to Building a City from Scratch. As I said, part 40. Uh, in the last part, I did this, as you can kind of see by starting off the part. Uh, I built uh, a mall, a uh, major train station with uh, lots of rail connections and stuff. Probably should work on putting those in while I'm thinking about it. And just more amenities and stuff for the airport. So, I mean, um, slowly accomplishing, uh, getting this area ready, and uh, I'm going to be continuing with that, really, in this part. So what I'll do initially is... That just in order to get along these trains like to shift they like to change tracks before entering a station so just doing something as simple as that uh, is good and then I'll also need a track shift here just because this this track goes off right and then if you're on here yeah you need a place to you need if you're on this train right you need to shift back to this track because this track goes up over here and I can build one more train station here. Yeah, I think I have a, a nice one with just one track that looks good. Yeah, that's good. But it likes to have the rail here. Oh, really? You know what? I might be able to get it to like me by just doing like a shift. Because the reason this was here, it has to be there. I would prefer to have the station here. But I should probably work on this at grade crossing. Should I do rail FULP? Underground rail. Oh, right, because it wants road under it. I think having it at grade is okay because there won't be too many trains coming. And there's there is an overpass alternative right over here. So what I'll do is I'll leave this open for a nice shift. And then here I'll realign this. Maybe I can even put in a smooth curve for that now too. So I'll build that station because it looks really nice. It's from a uh, Japanese website. It's called Banhorf Zurich Stahlhofen Stadelhofen. Um, okay, so it definitely isn't um, Japanese. Uh, it sounds European to me. Maybe German? Calatrava? I'm sure I could find out where this is in the real world, but it seems to be modeled after a real world station. This is where I want the track, and then I want a nice long um, lane shift. I know I gotta fix that. Hold on. Uh, just over here. So yeah, just something like that. It doesn't have to be here exactly, but I may as well get it over. Oh, I have to redo that. Uh oh, this isn't level. Okay, fine. I better, I better make it level. I should, should probably go the other way. I'm gonna get rid of this. That's the problem with this, right? Nothing is exactly level, then they just don't like you. wrong with these no matter what it won't let me go level here when in doubt flip out this thing that should fix everything if I'm lucky I'll be able to plop it now without any problems Thank you. 
Songs by Seventh, that Norwegian guy I was talking about. That doesn't like it. Even if I was to get rid of this. Okay. Just, uh, that's fair, I can just do a nice curve up here. Just as long as the game told me what was wrong. Like, I never figured out what was wrong, I just kind of... I would appreciate it if the game told me what was wrong and how I needed to fix it. But, I figured it out on my own. And then here I can add a side street or widen this to uh, their lane. You know what? I'll widen it. Because I can get rid of this stuff. Uh oh! Remember I was working on that? Hope I don't need to redo it. Okay, good. Now, I wonder if there's enough room over here for one of those smooth pieces. If there are, then that's amazing. I really don't think so. No, it, need, it would need to come out in another spot. Maybe if I was to just demolish this and redrag? It's going to be a tight fit if it's going to work. Okay, it might, it just might. Realism has been improved in this city by that much. And then since I have room here, I can probably put in, no, the, the 90 degree curve would work best. I don't want to toy around with it. I was thinking like maybe two 45s, have one like here and then have one here, but that would just be too much. The 90 degree curve is so big that it, gets the job done. Yeah, look at that. It's a behemoth. Saving the game. This is a kind of a dubstep attempt by Epic Music Productions, I think. Let me know what you think of the music. Um, part 39 and 40 are kind of back-to-back, -back, so any, like, opinions that you had or thoughts on the music um, won't be changed for, for this part, because I'm doing this right after. But uh, if you have anything, just let me know in parts 39 or 40, and I'll, uh, I'll work it into the new, uh, new part. So this station, ooh, it's only got a capacity of 2,000. This is gonna be overused. Not a NAM certified station with adjusted capacities and stuff. Unfortunately. But it's right at the side, so maybe it won't get too much overuse. This is the main station I want people to get off at. Or maybe this one here. I'll put a subway station in, right, so they can kind of transfer up. Because this is not a a uh, terminal for the um, for the pedestrians and stuff, right? This is freight only. Like you can't you can't disboard the train. That's weird. Um, you can't disboard the train here and uh, go to the airport. Like, this is just for the cargo flights. I normally will. Uh, I normally don't like this kind of arrangement here, but uh, I'll make an exception for uh, for here since it's the end. And this is a cool. Um, the airport um, gives off a nice median uh, mod that you see here. This is one of the few mods I use by Pegasus, but it just makes um, your avenues look really cool in the airport areas. And I could add a slip lane here too. I just need to be careful because that's a transit enabled lot. I think there's also one for the industrial areas that like gives that nice, really big street lights and stuff at the side. Uh, so where am I going here? If not, I'll just fill this up with an airport tile. Uh, tulips, and then scroll reverse.
I really don't need one for the other side. But then, no, you want, you know what? This lane is, this slip lane's not even needed because, like, you turn into this lane. Like, that is your right turn lane coming in this way and out. So indecisive, I know. Don't, don't need to tell me. But that truly is, like, this is, this is the lane that you turn into from the right. You don't need another one. So I get another airport tile. You need to look the right way. Nope. Actually, it looks cool that way. I can reverse all of these. You point that way. No, no, not that way. Nope, not bus stop. Ah! Just point the right way and stay it. And of course, taxis are generated from the airport lots. That's why you're seeing a traffic jam of taxis. So I'm gonna give it a save too, just, just cause. And see how it's reverted back to the industry because there's enough. There's too much industrial stuff here. So maybe I'll put another side on air, side of airport on that. Yeah, okay. And I'll put in the tulip intersection here. I'll do that first, actually. Because each one of these adds like 10,000 airport capacity to my city. The actual airport itself is only cosmetic. Those function as the airport uh, cap relief for commercial areas. This is going to be quite a big turn lane. Because this is where people go for arrivals. So I'll make that a nice big four tiles. And on this side, it really only needs to be two. Except everything is reverse. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. I'm wondering if I can plop a tulip on top of this thing. That would really get rid of a lot of headaches if I'm able to do that. I'm thinking yes. No. Actually, not that bad. I just need to replop one piece. That was my bad. I made the game crash. I accidentally zoomed out when I wanted to zoom in. And I zoomed out very rapidly, and it just crashed. So enjoy the cheerful music while I reload uh, SimCity 4, which I just saved. And that's... <laughs> that's good when you save often, right? It's almost like every part in this series for the past, like, four or so parts, if I'm if I'm correct, has got a, a crash at some point in it. Hey, so the city view loaded this time. Uh, so... I guess it's become a feature in the, uh... This song sucks. Go back to some epic music productions. Yeah, it's, it's kind of become a feature in the, uh... In the series is to have a crash in, in each video. Uh, they're definitely not planned, I, I'm sorry. But uh, they just take a little bit to load here. I can't remember if there was something I was supposed to show you. In the last video I was talking, I went kind of on uh, a little off topic and talked about SimCity 2013, showed you some video and uh, a picture of that uh, that stupid bridge. I got a new camera. If you want to see that, I've got it somewhere. It's a, for any photo buffs who might be interested, it's a uh, Nikon D32. That's the stupid bridge. Uh, it's, it's a Nikon D3200. Uh, with uh, a nice big zoom lens. I got a photo of it here. Yeah, this is it right here. So, I mean, that's my new camera and my new super big uh, zoom lens. I got a deal on it. So, uh, that's my first real camera. And this photo was taken with my cell phone. 
Aren't I an amateur photographer, eh? But I couldn't actually use the, uh, the camera itself to take a picture of the camera unless you're, like, using mirrors and all that weird stuff. Anyways, back to SimCity 4. Yeah, see, all I gotta do is redo this intersection. Not a big deal. Fit nicely. Just gonna be doing my thing. Do I want a tulip here? Up here, no, but it would be a little too much. And how far should I go with this? Uh, I don't think too many. Yeah, I think there will be en enough people. I just don't want the. Okay, one more. It kind of gets rid of all that airport median stuff, right? But I'll put some on the other side. Um, just while I'm thinking about it. Because I will need that capacity anyway. And have it face away for that nice kind of tree-lined uh, stuff with the bushes. And this will be taxi generator heaven. Like... An airport by default is a taxi generator. Like, this is the closest thing to a traffic generator that I have in this city. But the more I zone here, the more I'll need to make it look good. But hopefully it'll be alright. Because the median, like, ha I've used half of it now for just turning lanes. So that's cool, eh? Anyways, that's, uh... Put that roundabout back in. So I'm just going to experiment for a minute. You can theoretically do this. Just one of the lines of the avenue wasn't used. Like if I was to connect this here, it doesn't want to go. But if you convert this to one way road, this might help those stupid taxis. The problem is, is that it really isn't very realistic to have two lanes go into a one-lane roundabout. Like, what happens if you're in this lane? Like, they all kind of just magically transfer over, and they vanish. Whereas the other way, it's a streamlined turn lane to come into the terminal, so... I don't know. Way 1 or Way 2? You can let me know in the comments. So this is Way 2. And, of course, this is way one. I'll keep that for now. But you can let me know which you prefer. So in the last part, yeah, I did them all. I got these rails done. So I'm just going to keep scrolling through my landmarks, looking for things that look nice in this airport area. Just gonna go back. I think I saw something. Uh, the water cube from the Olympics. National Swimming Center. I'm gonna get this in while I still have room. It's a nice aquatic center. If anyone watched the Olympics, I love the Beijing Olympics. Not so much the smog and stuff, but just like the, the facilities that they built. Like, this is an architectural achievement right there. Like, that, the water cube is awesome, and it's been repurposed into, like, an awesome water park. So if I ever be uh, visit Beijing one day, with the air quality, I really doubt it, but I'd, l I'd love to go there. And the Bird's Nest Stadium is also just a work of art. All their, all their venues were. But then again, they had money to burn. Canada spent, like, $10 billion... No, not even $10 billion on the Olympics. Like, $1 billion. I think it was like a tenth of that. And people thought that that was too much, but China spent like $80 billion or something. There's a difference, right? One was Olympic, one was winter, one was summer, but... Canada was really cheap. They just took a football stadium and just renovated it into an Olympic stadium. Whereas China built everything from scratch. They built a city from scratch. Well, Beijing wasn't built from scratch. 
California Plaza, always a classic. Looks good there. Just continuing to scroll through. <laughs> I'm not tired. I'm just yawning a bit. I've already got this somewhere in the city. Alright, I think I'm now in like the more expensive stuff, which is normally skyscrapers, but there is every once in a while. Oh yeah, giant cruise ship. I'm gonna build this. It's by a Japanese guy named Somi. Why not? Giant cruise ship. Why not? So go to Somi if you want to download that, if it's still around. It doesn't have a name. It's nameless, but that, I think most of his stuff is like that. S-O-M-Y. Kind of like Sony, but with an M instead of an N. That's way too tall. Oh, this is the Eureka Tower. I think that's how you can pronounce it. Or the Rolto Towers. That was the NDEX Clubhouse. I think I might have had another one of those somewhere in the city, but those it just looks so cool that I want to keep it again. Another NAM HQ in the roundabout. It doesn't quite work for that one, but it does here. Now, the steps are too close to the uh, entrances, so... Nope, just one NAM HQ. Hopefully that's enough. I don't think I need any more NAM people. I haven't built the City Hall yet, have I? Probably something I should consider. This one is called... John Gold Financial. That's it right there. Cloverleaf Insurances. I think this is built by Mandelsoft. This actually looks really nice against the airport. It can be classified as something else, but call it what you want. That's neat. I think I'm going to rotate that, though. I have it go the other way. Well, no, because I need tulips there, and I need to know what I'm doing. I'm going to put those back right now while I'm thinking about it. A bus stop is a transit enabled lot, so I just need to be careful to avoid it. That's all you really need for the TLA 7 stuff. Because cars will just use the other lane, or at least they should. Oh, I'm not... That's good. I'm gonna save the game again real quick. Just to document the progress and kind of just think of uh, maybe what to do next. Mm-hmm. I'm liking this. I think I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm, I, I will take some more with shadows on, but it's starting to get filled up real nice. Maybe I do want it the other way. Hey, that looks good too. I'll just do that, I think. 
This could be like staff or oh, I could put two together. No, maybe not. This is another big hotel. Big Radisson. I should put this in the airport area. Maybe you can go over on this side by the uh, bullet train station. Uh, shouldn't be that close to the runway, right? No. It needs to go over here somewhere. Okay. The alternative is, is for to go here. Why don't I do that? I should probably zone this as well in case I don't put anything else in. What the? Ah, uh, I don't know what I did there. But because I just saved it and whatever, I think I'll call it a part there. Um, yeah, I will. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I saved not too long ago, so that's good. And I'll see you back for part 41.